Hi guys, so basically these are the precious moments that I bought off Amazon. Um, and they're blonde, so that doesn't really work for us, but I thought they were super cute. I don't have blonde hair, my fiance doesn't have blonde hair, but we, well, I'm gonna paint them. I didn't see a tutorial online about how to do this and I thought I would give it a go. I literally spent seven, eight dollars on this, um, but technically, I used a discount so these were both like eight dollars each so I think one of them was like seven something and one was eight something but essentially really good deal if you know about anything about precious moments you can't get a better price than this so basically I am choosing to do the groom I think that he will be a lot easier to paint and try because there's a lot of white on this bride so I'm going to set this aside and I also wanted to shout out to um, the artist Keith Busher. Um, but he basically kind of gave me the lowdown on how to paint precious moments. So if you like all things creepy, Halloween, horror, then definitely check out his page. He basically turns precious moments um, into creepy little goblins and such. But this will not be a little goblin. This is going to be Wyatt. So but we've got to start painting him. I'm so nervous though, so nervous. I just want this to be like super watery. Okay, we got this. We got this. I don't want it to look painted. This is a lot more nerve wracking than I thought it would be. So I'm wondering if I can paint this and then I like just take this and I'm doing it. As long as I don't like accidentally. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take some of this water and just kind of like, ooh, it comes off. Okay, no, we don't wanna do that. Just want to dry it so it doesn't like set too much, I think. Okay. We're good. It's all good. Honestly, I just want to stain this. I don't really want to make it to be this like huge deal. got some spots there that I'm hoping will dry up but overall it looks decent so I'm happy with it so there we go one down hopefully the next one will have a little less spots on it so we'll see
All right, so this is the finished product. I'm really excited and happy with the way it looks. I think they look super cute and you can really only tell if you look up close that they were hand painted. I'm not a huge fan of how shiny her hair turned out to be, but that's just the way it's going to be. I think his is a really nice matte because I did it gradually over layers while hers, I literally just started going to town and painting it, but that's okay. I think they're gonna look really cute on top of our um, cake. So I'm happy with it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you want more DIYs. Thanks, bye.